All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever. So let it be true. Honor, love, and respect to the Creator, Yahweh, and His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles of GMS, the four major prophets, the minor prophets, and the hopeful elect, the 144,000 brothers who are out there pushing the word of the Most High on the four corners of this earth. Greetings, we're on another lesson, and today's Halloween. I'm in the, in the state of Colorado, it's starting to get a little dark, and this is going to be the holy book of Isaiah chapter 47, where it's talking about the fall, the fall of Babylon, which is America. And since th today's Halloween, it's going to tie in with the scriptures because America is the land of warlocks. A land of witches. That's who they serve. America has never worshipped the creator of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This government, Congress, the Senate, the judicial system, it serves on the left hand side. It's never served this holy book. And I'm going to tie it in why America celebrates Halloween in Europe. This is a pagan holiday. And this is one of the biggest holidays in America where people spend millions and millions of dollars. They make millions. These corporations, they make millions of dollars selling all this Halloween crap. So I'm going to tie it in on what's about to happen to America and because of their witchcraft. So I'm in the Holy Book. Go ahead and. I'm in the Holy Book of Isaiah. Chapter 47, verse 1. He says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. And the uh, Most High has many titles for Esau. And one of the titles is the Chaldeans. He also calls them the Egyptians because the, the forebears of America worship the Egyptian gods, they worship the gods of Babylon and they worship the gods of the Chaldeans, and they worship the gods of Ro uh, the Greco Roman Empire. So it's all pagan. For you shall no more be called the tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind the mill, remove your veil, take off your skirt, uncover the thigh, pass through the rivers. And when he says take off the skirt, it's to uncover her sin. Because this nation, America, the whore that sits on the on the beast, she's nothing but a whore, a prostitute. She's filled with abominations. Your nakedness shall be uncovered. And the most high, the all the nations see the sin of America. Now the only men who worship who are on who live in this land of Babylon who worship the Most High are the apostles and the prophets who are breaking down these scriptures for all the brothers and sisters and the great multitude to have the understanding of what place that we're living into that we live in today which is a land of wickedness the border of wickedness so it says yes your shame shall be seen I will take vengeance and I will not attribute with a man. As for the, our Redeemer, the Lord of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the host, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel, which is the Most High Yahweh and his Holy Son, his first begotten Son, is Yahweh Shai. Verse 5 Sit in silence and go into darkness. And that's what's about to cover America, darkness. Because the Most High is going to break down this place. He's going to break down the economy, which he's already been doing. He's going to cut off and destroy the Federal Reserve and all your paper money, all your 401 and your, your 401 and your pensions are all going to disappear like dust. 
He says, sit in silence and go into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no longer be called the Lady of Kingdoms, because she was the greatest evil nation on the face of this earth. Verse 6, I was angry with my people. I have profaned my inheritance. And he was angry. The Most High was angry with who? Jacob. Israel. Yasha Allah. Which means the princes, the judges of Israel. He was angry with us because the majority of our people turned their back against him. So he, he put a curse on us and he made Esau and the nations beat us down. So in verse 6 he says, I was angry with my people. I have profaned my inheritance. And given them into your hand, he gave Jacob to the hand of Esau and the nations. And what did they do to us? They put us in slavery. They beat us down. They put us in concentration camps, and uh, they put the uh, the the tribes on uh, reservations and put us in the ghettos, in the Cabrini Greens, in the ghettos around America. And they he let them just beat us down because of our sin. You showed them no mercy, which Esau never showed mercy to us. He persecuted us and oppresses us always. Like I said, he sent us to public schools. Why do we go to public schools for? To learn the language and to serve him, to be a slave to him. On the elderly, you laid your yoke very heavily. Which he did. He has no respect for the elderly of Jacob. No respect. He beats us down. And you've seen what happened since the times of slavery and the times of uh, when he put most of our people in reservations. They did. Uh, they played games. They did torture. They uh, they put them in these camps and these uh, institutions, and they let the the native tribes, which are the, the lost tribes of Israel, they let them uh, destroy each other. They put lack of food, lack of health care, and they destroyed our people. And they did experiments with our people throughout history. Putting poison in the water, uh, poison over our neighborhoods. They've done many evil things evil wicked things in our neighborhood setting up liquor stores everywhere and by other nations too it's not owned by our own people it's owned by other nations they put liquor stores in every corner and they put fast food restaurants so most of our people have diabetes have high blood pressure hypertension and they're very sick with these high fat fatty oils that they put in our food to destroy us and they did many other experiments on our people so verse 7, and you said, I shall be a lady forever, so that you did not take these things to heart. Now remember the latter end of them. Therefore here, verse 8, therefore here, this now, you are given to pleasures who dwell secret, securely. Who say in your heart, I am and there is no one else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow. What, and that, that's a beautiful scripture right there. Because it's talking about America is so proud. And, and, and she dwells secure, secure, securely from, wet, uh, from the east coast to the west coast. And she says in her heart, this prostitute, this whore, the Statue of Liberty... The, the this prostitute who sits on the beast I am there is no one else besides me she she is filled with vanity I shall not sit as a widow nor shall I know the loss of children and she's going to see the loss of children because the Most High is about to start World War III with America all the nations Russia, China the Arabs they're all going against America with the Federal Reserve, they're starting, China just started their own digital money. They're all getting away from the Federal Reserve and the Federal Reserve is not gonna, is not gonna, uh, they're not gonna let this happen. Well, they're gonna let it happen. There's nothing they can do about it.
But there is something they're going to do. They're going to start war. They're going to start war with China. They're going to start war with Russia, Iran, North Korea, and the whole Middle East. So war is here. Like I said, we have proxy proxy wars has already been happening. Verse 9, but these two things shall come to you in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, and they shall come upon you in their fullness because of the multitude of your sorceries. And this we're tying in with Halloween. This your government, your presidents, your senators, your congress, they they're warlocks. They worship Satan. They worship demons. That's why he says right here, because of the multitude of your sorceries for the great abundance of your in enhancements, because they go to wit uh, these warlocks and witches to see what the future is. Verse 10, for you have trusted in your wickedness. You have said, no one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge have warped you. And you have said in your heart, I am and there is no one else besides me because you have that God complex therefore evil shall come upon you you shall know from where it arises and trouble shall fall upon you you will not be able to put it off because the Most High is going to bring the wrath upon this land because of your wickedness and the, how you on, you're on the left hand side the light bearers on the left hand side and you worship Satan and you're into all kinds of sorceries and black magic. And Halloween is your... Halloween and these other... It, actually, Halloween is like your favorite holiday. And also Christmas. And we'll get break that down in the month of December. But all the holidays of America are wickedness and pagan. And he says, And desolation shall come upon you suddenly, which you shall not know. When this happens, millions of men will be will die in World War III. Your army, your navy, your marines, and your air force. Verse 12, stand now with your enchantments and the multitude of your sorceries in which you have labored from your youth. Verse 12, the most high speaking to the United States government saying that since, they, since youth, they were brought up with their father and mothers into witchcraft. Perhaps you will be able to profit, perhaps you will prevail. You are winged in the multitude of your counsels. In the most high, he said, go to them. Go to these wicked people and see if they're going to save you. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly progastinators stand up and save you. From these things that shall come upon you. He says, go to your, your these warlocks. Go to these creeps, these demons, these Satanists. Verse 14. Behold, they shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. The Most High said he's going to burn these warlocks and witches and Satanists. It shall, from the power of the flame, it shall not be a coal to be warmed by nor a fire to sit before thus shall they be to you with whom you have labored your merchants from your youth they shall wander each one of his quarter no one shall save you and that's the destruction that's coming all your wickedness that this place evil witchcraft the black magic, your demonic uh, speaking to the spirits, it's all coming to an end. Most High is going to bring the wrath upon this land. The wrath of God is coming for, because of your witchcraft, your evilness, and every other abomination under the sun. And you break all the laws of this holy book. This holy book will be forever and ever and ever and ever. And this is this this is the end right here. America shall soon be destroyed. So I'm gonna close it out. All praises to the most high God.
This place is wickedness. This is the day of Halloween. And it could be the last Halloween. Because these months are moving fast and the Most High ain't playing no more. The only, only the Most High knows how many months could be six months, 12, 24, 36 months. Only the Most High knows. But I know it. The time is short. We're at the end. We're in tribulation. And the Most High is about to bring this whole thing down to the gutter. America is on its way out. It's already in the, it's past the toilet. It, America is already in the sewer. And the fiat money is worthless. These banks are about to fold and it's all by design. And they, they want chaos. Chaos out of, order out of chaos. That's when they're gonna put martial law. You will no longer own your homes or your businesses. They can just grab you and pull you out, put you in concentration. It's gonna be devastating what's coming to this land. You can't even put it, you can't even wrap it around your head of what's coming. I've been reading this holy book for 50 years. And devastation is coming. You better put on your seat belts. Because the next several months that are coming. And we're going into year 2022. And, man, and it's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly. They're going to stop. I can't wait when they. there's no more money. And there's not going to be no more. The federal worker state and city employees will no longer have jobs. Well, they're going to have to work without pay. That's coming. Even the police, they're going to be working. And that's when they, they set up. There's laws where you have to work or you go to jail. You go to prison. That's coming. Austerity. Look it up. There's a lot of things you don't know. Once martial law, like I said, this country is going to get ugly. And the whole world's going down. But America is finished. So all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever, so let it be true. And double honors to the apostles, forever and ever, so let it be true. I'll be here tomorrow, Most High willing, on another lesson. The water.